सो द मेन पॉइंट इज दिस इज अम्बेडकर कॉलेज वर्थ इट सो हे गाइस आई एम करेंटली इन माई कैंपस राइट नाउ डॉक्टर अम्बेडकर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड दिस वीडियो विल बी अबाउट द कैंपस ब्लॉग द एवरीथिंग दैट इज अराउंड द कैंपस आई वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट आई विल बी अलोन बट आई गेस देर आर सम स्टूडेंट्स हियर बट जस्ट वेन यू एंटर देर आर क्वाइट अ बिट ऑफ पीपल हियर आई जस्ट गिव आई विल जस्ट गिव यू थ्री सिक्सटी ऑफ द होल प्लेस सो एज यू कैन सी देर आर क्वाइट अ बिट ऑफ पीपल हियर आई वॉज होपिंग दैट आई वुड बी क्वाइट अलोन बट आई गेस आई एम नॉट अलोन सो दिस वीडियो विल बी entirely about the campus block by the way that side like there is uh, two parking lots so to speak that side you can park your like your uh, scooters or something like that and that side and i will just show you that part so as you can see that is actually college entrance of uh, ambedkar institute of technology and this is actually what we call the entrance the main like this is the main building and we also have the silver jubilee building over the left side i'll show you that so when you main enter the campus you got the c block directly in front of you and the a block and i would say this is the main lobby area so to speak i don't know if you going to call it lobby or something but uh, i'll just show you around we got the placement cell over there and we got if you go straight over there you will get c block and if you go over there you will get a block and the like while like you are getting admissions like the whole admission area goes on over this place and this is the auditorium as you can see like uh, that is the main admission block and that is the vice principal block now i'll just give you a top top down approach top down view of the whole campus so i'm currently going towards the first floor have to be really quiet here because this is the where the autonomous examination session will be going on as you can see that was the autonomous section and this is what we call actually as a open auditorium and there is the principal's chamber apparently some function is i mean some event is going on that's why they are applauding but uh, yeah so this is the first floor and actually there was a freshers party going on way back in october like first week or something when we had our essay so yeah that thing is going on of course boys and girls washroom so this is the first floor and mainly the freshers who come here like the freshmen spend time over here like this whole a block belongs almost belongs to them you can say like uh, while there is a common subject uh, like uh, all the like in the first year all the people will be spending time here even including the mechanical and civil but in the second year actually the mech and civil and aeronautic people go to the silver jubilee so classes are going on i should be extremely quiet don't want to be kicked out of my own college so this is the i can you can say d block and that is the information science area this whole block belongs to information science and by the way that is actually my own section i could say not section department so this whole thing belongs to the not the whole thing but this mainly area belongs to the information science part information science department and this whole campus this main building is about four stories high so 1 2 3 4 so this whole stories is like like this whole campus this main building is four stories high i'm rushing a bit because i didn't know that there were people here i thought i was the only one if i was the only one here i would have made it quick and i would have gotten out but uh, hopefully i will try to show you every single department that is here so let's see if that works out and by the way guys this lift takes like ages to get wherever you want like even i will just show you okay this this display is not there but this lift like takes forever to get to where you want hopefully is no one is there in the lift otherwise yeah i, I might get screwed but just look at this like of course there will be lot of other students also here but 
right now it's empty maybe there are only first year students may yeah i think there are first year students because the ca the classroom that i just showed will be mainly towards the first year students and like the other students are currently having their vacations slash internship i'm i personally am second year student going towards third year and this is actually the time that is i have my internship going on so this is the c block now this is the college campus have to be extremely quiet so this is the c block so in this block you can see like lot of people especially in the computer science and electronics people will be here itself so this is you can say their part of the <laughs> their side of the department like uh, like e e i e c and all of those things even like c s people and i'll just show you the ground floor as well later so yeah that is there so i'll be currently going towards the most impactful part of the whole campus i call it impactful because it was honestly the in the first oh god honestly in the first year it was the most fun class for me so yeah as there were common sections all around god damn there is still classes going on i'll be extremely quiet but that right there is cad lab and my teacher was amazing i have no words i have no words to describe him it was really inspiring for me and he made lot of jokes in class that's why i like him and i won't be saying his name but uh, yeah if you have any information science i mean he is pretty popular the teacher i'm talking about and is from mechanical department of course so that is like this a whole campus you can see like you got also the ph i mean i'm making it quite quick because i don't want to be caught i don't know even if it's allowed to capture videos in our own campus but i'm doing this because i want to show you around the campus but uh, yeah like uh, i will show you the labs in just a second maybe i can show you the labs but i don't know if it is allowed so this is actually one of the uh, what is the lab cs labs as you can see there are around there are around four i think labs for cs cs people four or two i am not sure and we got one lab for is two labs technically but uh, you can say it has one some this is also one lab then there is for is people we got one lab for ec people we got one lab and maybe for medical like medical technology people you might have another lab but i'm not sure about it as you can see this whole entire thing is c block and especially if you are cs or is sorry cs or ec you can expect your second year third year fourth year to be classes to be here if i'm not wrong so yeah this will be your department and that side the d block as far as i know like it is again shared by information science and cs people especially my own classroom was in that block the d block that i just showed you showed you around so yeah the, i mean you can see that poster there and it is about the college fest like uh, techno kshetra that is uh, again done by the ec people or i i don't like don't comment me on the uh, comment section but uh, i do i think it is ec like every 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 department has its own fest and especially in the month of march or in month month of february there will be like huge fest like with combination of all not combination separately individual department having its own fest like electro yatra then uh, interrupt i guess interrupt it was called and yeah it mainly like that so this is the mtech cs classroom i think this is the class i mean so sorry this is the staff room like what and this is the department of medical uh, medical electronics like i will show you like this is the akash favorite section if you don't know akash i will just show you him when i eventually show you him but he is a very fun guy i think you all of you guys will like him i need to be very quiet so that is one of the 
under SR 57 class 2 currently 2 but uh, either is on the other side right side I'm being extremely quiet I don't know if you can hear me or not but that is the department of medical electronics and this whole part this whole alley I mean not alley but corridor you can say as this is a part of medical electronics and thankfully the main campus was open, so main, sorry, main, the main building because I was in the, in the impression that if college is not kind of open because the main thing is that second year and all the other years are having their internship time right now and we are back at, uh, we are back at the A block again and we got the old campus here, engineering division and yeah, and I'll be going towards the mathematic department over here so this whole entire stretch is actually staff room for mathematic prof mathematics professor so yeah that is there so all the mathematics professor will be here if you want to ask doubts or if you want to ask anything in common gen uh, such as that but uh, as you can see i think there might be examination going on like for first year students i'm not too sure but the part is that the whole entire campus the this like this whole a block will be mainly for the first years so yeah so if you are first year i think your classes will be mainly here yeah so i'll be showing you the chemistry department and also the sorry chemistry lab and physics lab and uh, if possible i will be also showing uh, the one of the physics teacher if i don't know if he'll be here or not but let's see if he'll be here so yeah, the civil department, I'm not sure but the mainly the first primary civil department is in uh, Silver Jubilee building, I'll be showing you the Silver Jubilee building later but this is again say civil department, I have to just cross check it but again below this floor, the ground floor will be having EC department, sorry uh, EC labs so to speak so first year or like in first year actually I had CAT lab and I got my first day of first CAD lab. Mechanical teachers are all strict, but they are equally as sweet. So I got screwed the first day itself. I completely confused one lab with another and went into the wrong lab. And I got completely late for the actual labs. So that was actually a very <laughs> memorable day for me. But I'll just show you around the physics lab. Not show you around, but entrance. So this is the physics lab. So that was the physics lab, I can't go in, you have to actually I think leave your slippers for the other labs, especially my own lab, uh, IS lab, you have to leave the slippers, so, so yeah, that is there, there is like, this whole section is for physics professors, so that is there, and now I will be seeing the uh, chemistry lab so to speak. So this whole entire pathway, like that side, I'll be showing you the uh, information science. Yeah. Classes are going on. So classes are going on. I can't show you the part of uh, chemistry lab because classes are going on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the information science department side. And this is my home branch. This is HOD, really nice guy. Labs are going on. I can't show you the lab because I don't want to be screwed by my own teachers. But uh, as you can see, this is uh, information science lab, and uh, this is like uh, the main information. Like this is the information science department office. And if you like, while there is examination going on, especially doing SC or any kind of examination like that, you can actually keep uh, this. I think this is only mainly for information science people, but you can mainly keep your bags inside the uh, one of the uh, labs. This is computer laboratory. So Vishweshwaraya, Mr. Vishweshwaraya laboratory, of course. We got three labs: one, two, three. That side. So, yeah, that is there. And this is actually one of the class. This, this was my second year classroom. And as you can see, this is what actually the classrooms look like 
got smart board. We had lot of fun with this smart board. Trust me, I got whole bunch of uh, good stories with it. But this is actually how the classroom looks. So yeah, so as you can see, I used to sit in this bench, this first bench or last bench, nowhere in between. Like if there was no space, then I used to sit somewhere here. But I used to sit always in the first bench or last bench, depends. So yeah, that is there. This is my own classroom. So yeah, I think uh, I will just now show you the uh, the most the most confusing part about this campus would be definitely your first day and finding labs. So I would recommend you to stick in groups and also follow the CRs. So yeah, this campus at first may be a bit confusing, but you will slowly get used used to it because this is a quite frankly this I I think this is a almost 64 acres if I'm not wrong, 32 or 64 acres campus. So this is quite a big of big campus and you might get uh, lost sometimes. So stick in groups, especially on your first day, like finding classrooms or finding labs or something like that. Because yeah, chances are that getting uh, lost will be greatly reduced. So, but right now we are going towards the main humanitarian side of it, like English, yoga. I mean, there's no yoga, but English languages and uh, other like subjects such as that, as you can see. Depart Department of Humanitarians and uh, Social Sciences English Lab. So if you have English classes, especially in the first year, your like your classes will be here, here itself. So, yeah. Let's see if there's anyone here. Hopefully there's no one here. So this is what the English classroom looks like. There is this first classroom. So like at first sem, the, you will have English for two sems, that is in your first year. So that was the first sem, we had our English classrooms here. So it looks something like this. So yeah, that was the English classroom. One of the English classrooms, to be quiet again. So teachers quiet next to me, like left, there's another room there. And I think the other second classroom is locked, maybe, yes, so that is locked. And all the English teachers, you'll find it here in the English side. So if you have to submit your assignment, and by the way guys, uh, if you want to submit your assignment and things like that, to, like uh, mainly give it to your uh, CRs, that is you have to find your lecturers by yourself and go to their departments and give it there. So yeah, so for English departments, if you didn't hand over your assignments, at times to your CR, you have to go to here and give it and so as you saw that was actually the main campus load that is the main campus and there is also the Wi-Fi for main campuses as well so yeah so this whole particular section right now and this is actually the main pathway that leads to the other side of the campus and guys Especially in the month of March or April, don't miss this because there'll be almost like a cherry blossom kind of a environment here, like like the way you see in Japan, like full of uh, pink cherry blossoms. You can exactly find it similar to this. So yeah, that side is the Silver Jubilee campus, mainly for mechanical and civil students, and that side is actually for the actually for the uh, grounds and the boys campus. So currently. We'll be actually showing the exteriors of the and this is the guys this is actually called the rock garden. Like in like first like first when they used to put like a college confession page, like Dr. AT confessions, they used to always mention meet me near rock garden, meet me near rock garden, not me but the actual people. And I used to get confused like what is the rock garden? So the part that you see here is the actually called the rock garden. And I was actually I can't show you like it the I will show you that uh, there's other a place called Gallery, Gallery Garden, like, uh, yeah, Dr. Ambedkar uh, Gallery Garden, but that side, so, so this side is actually the uh, college, like, hostel, girls' hostel, so I will just show you the uh, entrance, of course I can't go there, but this whole entire road, is this whole entire road connects you to the silver jubilee campus that is over there 
and guys if uh, if you are a girl and you're getting to hostel i'll tell you something about the hostel so people there describe it as if it is africa because you don't get enough i mean not enough water like you have shortage of water shortage of electricity and shortage of, i mean food is pretty okay okay so there's no shortage of food but uh, yeah the whole thing is they are saying hi hello guys so yeah so yeah this whole uh, girl social is a bit uh, overrated in my opinion but if you can find somewhere else do it but if you can't i mean it's not end of the world and uh, look guys if you mainly want to buy anything like uh, blue books or uh, especially the college records there is a shop over here that you have to buy from especially this is like compulsory or something so you have to buy from here itself so yeah and this is the the silver jubilee building i so i told it the because uh, yeah we, it is that much infamous over here and mainly department from mechanical and civil people and aeronautics also uh, like this is their department and this is again almost four stories or five stories high i'm not sure but uh, yeah this is the ground floor seminar and sorry about that cut but seminar hall and all like yeah this is actually the ground floor and the lift actually the lift is a bit faster than the main campus lift but i won't be taking it up in classes are we going on i have to be quiet extremely quiet so yeah so this is the closing part the lift and from here the first floor i think is civil mechanical and aeronautics if i'm not wrong so i can't show you but inside the teachers are here and of course the classes are going on so so you can see like almost this side and all it's fully staff room of civil tree professors so if you want it like head of civil department so this full is civil department so civil classrooms this side and exactly almost similar to what you saw in the main building classrooms exactly similar to it will be there i'll just see around if again there are examinations going on so i have to be extremely silent to be extremely silent oh god thank god there is no one here hopefully yeah so guys this is what a uh, room in silver jubilee it looks like the silver jubilee classroom so actually there are smart boards but not for this particular like for some sections there is smart boards and some section there is not really depend for the most like 99% of the classrooms there are smart boards but really depends on the whole uh, uh, classroom again for this there is actually a white board uh, i rolled on white board so again there is projector so that is what they do but this is mainly the silver jubilee like this you can expect this out of the silver jubilee classroom but i didn't show you the like the seminar hall so seminar hall i didn't show because first of all it was locked second of all the teachers third of all like there might be actual students going on and uh, see as you can see here so this whole road actually is this whole road actually connects you to the pvp polytechnic side so this is actually their entrance you can say this is the back gate this is actually the back gate of uh, dr ambedkar institute so this actually has timings like i will show you this is one of the back gates i will show you another back gate for people who are going like uh, i will show you the also the show you the bus stands as well so guys will not feel it uh, a bit too hard on your first day so yeah and i will show like this is actually the part behind me is actually labs for mechanical civil and triple e i mean electronics and electrical so yeah i'll just show you that but right now we'll be going up to mechanical but uh, i will be extremely extremely silent over this department i not i not speak anything i'll just show you because this honestly mechanical department is the most scariest department in our college
I first is tap room of mechanical and second floor only it is mechanical and uh, yeah I remember this I don't know if it is this was kind of this room or this room but every mechanical class we used to come here from all the way from the main campus and I won't say the teacher's name but uh, we used to sit here and listen to his lectures so it was pretty fun it was again I vaguely remember about refrigerators and things like that but uh, yeah find a spot sit down and listen to the lectures we got the projector over here as well so yeah so this is what you can expect uh, the one of the other classrooms to look like in silver jubilee so yeah with smart board and uh, yeah bro that is again the things of uh, silver jubilee campus yeah i mean look at this view bro look at this you can't beat this like if you want to chill in between like if you are especially mechanical and civil i will just come here and chill like this whole view doesn't get any old really nice but uh, i don't know if you will have time honestly will have time to chill between classes because you'll be so preoccupied doing other things but uh, really if you get time you can chill like that so i'll be showing you hopefully i mean it's again the same thing so it's again the same thing not much different especially in the aeronautics and uh, other thing like uh, another floor so yeah it's, it is four stories high. it is four stories high building and this is mainly i guess of the uh, ae aeronautics right so as you can see almost the same setup i think there is some kind of uh, yeah so that are blue books so after the semesters they are going to like recycle the books or something but yeah i mean they are going to sell the books or recycle the books not so sure so this is what again third floor the same old things guys it's not much different white board so every classroom you can say it differs from one another and uh, i don't know if i'll actually get into trouble if uh, after posting this video but uh, if you don't but if this uh, yeah let's say i won't say anything else the less you speak the less chances you will get into trouble see that is the girls hostel and there is actually three girls hostels i guess i mean like this is the, the like there is three blocks i could say of girls hostel uh, chetana is chetana is one of it so yeah there is other two i don't know completely but the boys hostel has four blocks ashoka i know only of ashoka but uh, yeah if possible i will show you the mechanical lab because the most coolest lab i guess is the mechanical lab because you got to work with lathe machine and all but you can see like this is what like there is a fest in uh, there is actually fest that goes on in ambedkar called kalarava and uh, like during the fest the preparation happens actually here and yeah so this main preparation actually happens in this road and it's actually very late guys kalarava don't miss kalarava if you are if you are in bangalore and if you have free time but this is a mechanical workshop and you can find lathe machines here and there's also professors here i won't go inside but uh, but you can see so yeah so guys that was actually a very long cut as you can see it is a completely different day it is in fact 17th of november and i last shot it at 31st of october the reason why i didn't i shoot it uh, like before was the main reason was there was lot of issues with the whole place and getting the permission but thank god it got sorted so now i have got everything done and i will resume the college vlog and right now actually i am standing right opposite to the whole uh, the main canteen and actually this canteen is quite new this is actually one year old canteen 
and uh, it is going pretty good uh, actually to be quite to be quite honest i never ate there i can't give you any reviews of that place because the whole canteen was very good when i was actually doing uh, this march fast and all those things like in my first year like the the canteen before that was excellent but uh, this new canteen i'm not sure how it is and right opposite to the canteen there is library our college library so if possible i'll just uh, take you inside again i'm not sure uh, if vlogging and all is allowed so i have to be little sneaky and things like that so yeah so when i am in the library i will not speak anything i'll just show you around So, so the first floor is actually for the postgraduate section that is MBA as well as MCA people and we can't go there and uh, let's try to show you. The post-graduation section library is quite big. I can't show you around because I don't have permission but uh, I just go to my own UG section uh, uh, what the own UG section library and again I have to be extremely quiet I have to act as if I am not vlogging because vlogging in Ambedkar is quite a very new concept like it's very new and people don't wrap their head around it so it will become very suspicious if I do <laughs> something like that So as you saw, that was the college library. Right now it is lunch break. I mean, just past lunch break. So everyone has classes. So no one was in library. But guys, if you have like CIE or SCE, the whole place will be packed. Like you can't find any good place or any place for that matter to study in campus. So you have to find classrooms for like studying. So that is there and library will be like completely packed. Like if you like, just after CI, you have to go and uh, catch a seat in library. Otherwise, it will be completely packed. And oh yeah, I didn't show you the digital section, digital library. It is up. The thing is that if I start showing everything, I will get into trouble. So again, I will do a part two of this vlog, uh, like a day in a life. Then I can actually show you the remaining part of the campus. Uh, but uh, yeah, as you can see, this is a path that actually leads to the ground. Uh, ground of basketball as well as uh, cricket of course we have the great uh, memorial center of Jai Prakash sir who is actually the founder or the actually the first uh, chairman of Ambedkar but he has passed away it has been like quite a while right now and uh, yeah the so there was supposed to be so I'm just going to scoot over here. 
because again the whole uh, watchman issue but the thing is that uh, the canteen that you, actually this place this place right here is actually a very legendary spot of ambedkar but uh, like from past this sem actually uh, from fourth sem the whole place was uh, there was certain uh, event that happened actually so they removed the whole actually there were like uh, benches and things like that where you can come with your friends and have your lunch and there was just a shop right here and uh, og people in ambedkar who know sanjuana like this place was amazing and of course sanjuana was very nice but the thing is that the empty canteen has shifted to other place and it is right now it is not here it is opposite to the college campus i will show you if uh, i vlog it there hopefully but uh, guys check this out this is the cricket stadium slash football stadium slash ncc ground you get the basically you get the idea and you know so people used to come here for eating and yeah place people used to come here and sit here play cricket while after finishing their lunch go there play basketball i show the basketball ground in a while but uh, this place is absolute like this if this is a very good place to chill in ambedkar like you can come here with your friends in if you get free time like in between classes or just like that you can just come here and chill and i usually come here and chill because especially when everyone else has classes and you are free like it is like pin drop silence other time other time and all it will be very bustling over here even though the mtr was uh, taken away people still relatively come here to have their lunch so it will be a bit crowded in the lunch break but uh, right now the place is just really quiet and i like places like this which are really quiet i should stop repeating but uh, as you can see you can't hear anything anything absolutely nothing so yeah that thing is there absolutely absolutely amazing and that is the basketball ground absolutely legendary and that is the ladies hostel and look guys the thing is that uh, i had placement classes in the morning and i had to get some things done for my friend and that is the reason uh, i actually was shooting actually i had a plan of shooting in the evening i mean afternoon itself but uh, right now god damn it man like you can hear right behind me i am uh, there is watchman calling maybe i should go away i mean not like i should go back and i'll just show you the bus stands of both that will connect to uh, pinia side as well as uh, rajinagar side but uh, that is the thing I'll just show you that if i don't get vacated let's see that is the thing let's see what does the sir have to say okay so the main point is this is ambedkar college worth it look i'll just be completely 100 with you guys it is very much worth it for me because uh, look i'll tell you the biased and well as unbiased version of it of course it is definitely worth it you will never find look i'll just talk one on one you can never find as quality teachers as you find in ambedkar especially my department information science i have been very fortunate to get uh, not just information science in my first year as well when we had the whole uh, like uh, combined not combined classes uh, the mixture of all the branches like common classes like all the department teachers that i got were like brilliant and they taught concepts very clearly and i had no problems with teachers so faculty is not at all a problem at all like teachers is not at all a problem 
coming to the uh, infrastructure as you can guys i showed you guys around the campus so that is the whole thing with the infrastructure it is uh, right within uh, ring road and uh, arguably if you guys uh, don't have that met i mean if you have that metro connectivity of course rv takes the cake in this matter because you can rv college is right next to the metro station but uh, ambedkar college is the like the most nearest college from the center of bangalore that is uh, majestic because uh, it is again there is even from majestic you have to only catch one bus that is 2 238u and you will be right here so again the connectivity the connectivity is very good faculty is very good you, you saw the campus how it is placement right now i can't talk about anything about placements because all around bangalore i mean sorry all around the world the placement is absolutely not up to the mark because of the old recessions that is going on right now and uh, yeah the infosys also is not coming uh, i mean they had uh, given out a news that infosys is also, also not coming to campus not just our campus but like any campus for that matter because of the recessions but uh, if uh, let's see uh, again i might do another vlog uh, from 2 uh, or 3 years after this 2 years after this one or two years uh, updating you guys about the whole uh, uh, placement situation but right now placement in any college is not that good so that is there but uh, again coming to the ambedkar college is it worth it yes yes the short answer is 100% yes and it's not just about the faculty placements and all those things the network and the people you meet here is absolutely brilliant you are going to make a lot of valuable friends coming from very much different backgrounds and you will be stunned yourself the because of the transformation that will occur in within yourself from like from first year to fourth year you'll be completely unrecognizable <laughs> because of the people that you meet here so it is definitely worth it the college is definitely amazing it is one of the best colleges in bangalore and if you do get it don't hesitate and yeah i will just uh, I mean, you will definitely have a good time here so i think i'm talking too much and i'm going to cut towards the bus stand and the exit side of the campus so yeah i'll catch you guys then so that right there is the boys hostel and there are four blocks in the boys hostel one of them being ashoka i forgot the other three blocks name but uh, that is the boys hostel that you are seeing there of course i don't have entry over there even though i have college id card but i've been there once i just been to ashoka block uh, i have been to the gym and the gym is like for a college gym it is pretty nice like uh, there is no complaints there so other than that yeah i mean it's not like no commercial gym of course and no public gym as well for college gym it is pretty nice so yeah that is there so guys right in front of me we have the bus stand this side is uh, again from this side it is from a bangalore quarter side and that uh, sorry i'm trying towards other side that side is from bangalore quarter side and we'll be going towards bangalore quarters and this side is towards the sunkat katte and the gorgunte palya and pinia side and the bus stop is right over there as you can see i am pointing towards it bus stop is right over there and uh, this is another bus stand that goes towards bangalore quarter quarters and for like guys if you want to have food i have mainly three points like uh, three good places for you first one being the jolat roti mane and also the cake house that is next to it guys is very full. actually jolat roti mane is a og i mean it's not it's, it was one year ago it came around and it's pretty good for having food and you get food at there at the pretty reasonable place i'll just show you that place in just a minute when i do cross the road and of course be careful by crossing the road guys maybe this is stupid vlogging and crossing the road of course i'm getting lot of horns but uh, yeah so we got the cake house over there it is a bakery and if you guys have any like a uh, friend birthday and things like that you can come here there's another bakery over there that side near the college uh, entrance and by the way guys stationery shop is again over there i think just at the college entrance so can if you want to grab any stationery shop you can just grab it over there 
or another stationery shop is over that side you can again grab it over that side i'll show you guys mainly i grab the all my stationery related like if you if i am in a jp or something i'll grab my stationery over that side as you can see right now utra the jola dotti utra karnataka food is right over there right now i'm stuttering i don't know why but uh, sir one sting vlog martta idin sir vlog al bartira <laughs> so right now i am at the cake house and the gentleman is just amazing i have from right from my second year i have never missed of course other than my holidays i have never missed having sting here sir is absolutely amazing if you are here definitely check the cake house out it's really nice so yeah and you got the whole uh, a bus stand right over there pg also around like there is quite a bit of pgs you have to find around the places uh, right like you will get uh, pgs like it is moderate it is very not very high difficulty or as well as low difficulty to get pgs you have to look around and uh, yeah pgs also there is quite a bit of uh, space for it and right now there is this two bus stands this bus stand goes towards the uh, gorgonte palya and sunkatkatte all the side pinia side and this bus stand goes towards the uh, bangalore quarter side but yeah and there is two gates that actually the gate that you saw at the starting of the video was the main gate and there is also the second gate which is uh, again it will be open at 9 o'clock as well as uh, 4 o'clock or 3:30 right now also it is open for some reason i am not sure but uh, there is two gates so if you are mainly going towards that uh, rajnagar as well as uh, all those uh, sites like uh, uh, what do you say chandra layout and all those places definitely this exit is going to be very near as you can see the actually there is a very funny story related to it so that place this is the actually the uh, other back end not the back end but the other gate of ambedkar it will be open from 9 o'clock like 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock ish so guys this is the iipm college of plantation management indian institute of college of plantation management and it is right next to the college and if you are especially coming from uh, the uh, rajinagar as well as general layout side that circle is known as the kengunte cross or mallatalli circle mallatalli circle is just next of that stop you have to go a bit further and it's right behind the uh, bangalore quarters so this is called the kengunte stop so if you want someone to know where the college is there you have to say mallatalli cross and this campus is actually called gnana bharati campus because it comes uh, near gnana bharati nagar i think it's called nagar but uh, yeah definitely i am heading towards the uh, chandra layout rajinagar as well as all that side uh, area atti gope and all but uh, yeah that is there and uh, uh, mainly i am i can't say much about uh, the pinia side bus but if you are coming from like right from majestic like there is a uh, two to three bus that you can take of course majestic you can't take like okay i'll tell you the all three buses that actually comes here that is 401k 401kb as well as uh, 238u and 61a actually 61a doesn't come here inherently if i am not wrong i am not i i have never like i have never came to college in 61a but i have just went to my home using 61a so i am not very sure about it but this is the bus stand that uh, connects towards the uh, whole uh, rajnagar chand chandra layout and all that sites and the bus will just come and stand over here so yeah th so the main four buses that actually comes over here that will connect to, to the like uh, majestic or well as eswanpur and all those jalalik not jalali eswanpur and all those places is the 401 401k 401kb 238u 
uh, 61A. 61A is also called the 238B. So yeah, these are the buses that mainly comes, and uh, there is also this type of bus that comes. Again, there is also pri um, like specific buses that just goes to general layout and stuff like that. This is 238U. So guys, I guess that is the end of the whole uh, college tour campus. Definitely be tuned, stay tuned for the uh, uh, day in a life of a third year student at Ambedkar. So I'm just going to chill right now after this long day and I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Stay tuned.